Um, <laughs> okay, heads up. This is going to kind of be all over the place um, because so much of things, so many things have just been transpiring in my life lately. Um, some of it, you know, some of it not, and I'm going to kind of share a little bit of it. Um, I had a couple comments from, I'm sorry, not a couple, one specific comment from somebody who was a Ralphie Boy follower. And, um, kind of rude. And I don't normally take well to rude people who accuse me of something without knowing the facts, not knowing who I am, um, just coming on my channel and just, uh, assuming that I'm just some stupid idiot who doesn't know what the flush is. Um, however, <laughs> sophisticated and well-spoken people intimidate me. Okay. Stop fighting, you two. Sorry, my cats were fighting. I'm not going to almost knock down my phone. Um, I swear I need to get a selfie th stick or something just to hold my phone up. Um, I don't usually like looking at myself, so I don't usually do this. But I want you to see that. I'm just a simple believer. And, um, I got nothing to give except the comforts and the, I hesitate to even say the word teaching, but just the understanding of who Christ is for us and um, how he has been uh, lied about so much and it breaks my heart to see people misrepresent him as this hard taskmaster or you know um, putting burdens on people having to think that they have to follow the law be fake just to be accepted and, um, this video is me in a very, I should say extremely, very, extremely vulnerable situation or state of mind, I guess you could say. Um. I don't like to talk about my infirmities because it's not who I am. However, uh, they do play a big role in my life. <laughs> and um, how people see me. And I'll admit, I don't like being seen as weak. Um, I 
especially when I've been saved for many years now. I already get down on myself because I'm not where I think I should be. <laughs> and I know that that's just the flesh trying to perform. And I have to say that when you come from a background of spiritual abuse and it being beaten into your head that you have to perform for the Lord. I've said several times that it's indoctrination. You know, it's, I, I, I hate, I hate the self-righteous, over-puffed up Balaamite church system because all it does is tear down put a burden on you and make you feel inadequate. And so I've said several times as well that I have a chip on my shoulder towards the church. Uh, the church system, I mean. You know, institutional churches. And, um, I think I know that the Lord allowed me to go through that so that I can speak the comforts of Christ that only He can give to those who are either going through it or have been through it and are still going through it because I am. And it's been several, several years. Um... thinking that you need the approval of men, especially brothers and sisters in Christ. And the enemy knows our weaknesses. And so he knows when we are so weak to the point where you can't You, you can't function. You can't think. You can't speak. You know. Um, it's like when I. And, and, and all you feel is. You know the. Whether it's the mental pain. And it reminds me of when I have. Uh, relapses. I'm in. So much pain. But yet I can't speak it or I or you know I can't find the words well that's normal actually for me all the time just because of my scrambled eggs <laughs> um, being so burnt up uh, and just worn out and I know I can never get that back Oh, this is so hard. But you get these religious, self-righteous people who don't know who you are. I hear you speak, you know, in a video, and automatically think that you know and I'll admit uh, first of all it, like I said this is going to be all over the place so just bear with me please um, I'll admit I misspeak uh, you know I'll tell James that we need to put the laundry in the fridge um, <laughs> you know it's <laughs> And I can laugh at it, but I, when it comes to uh, speaking the language of Paul, which I know in my heart to be true, and I 
understand, but it's, and, and you want so much to just speak it, but you can't. And it's like double hard for me because I already have a speaking problem. Now, I understand that, you know, the Lord can uh, speak through anybody. You know, I mean, he spoke through a donkey, you know. Um, and a lot of the times I feel like that jackass. <laughs> um, but... Our desire is other people to understand the simplicity of the gospel, of Christ being our life. And I think that when I speak, it doesn't always come across as, as, um, clear as I feel it should be. I worry so much that I'm stumbling people uh, with some of the things that I say that just come out wrong or something like that and I immediately go into like a panic because I don't want to misrepresent God's word I don't want to uh, I don't remember the verse and that's another thing I have zero memory um, but I thank God that when something that he does want me to speak he does bring certain words of a specific verse that I'm trying to think and basically leave it in his hands for y'all to hear him and not me. Um, I don't remember where I was going with this. Sorry. Kind of got off track. I don't remember now. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of crap that happens all the time. And so it, it, the enemy loves to use this to try to shut me up. Uh, it's the whole inadequacy thing, you know. And yet my spirit tells me that I am fully complete in Christ. And I know I am. And it don't matter what I say or what I do. It's not about what I do. It's about how he wants to use this broken down vessel. I'm dead and buried. I'm just speaking what's on my heart. It's up to him whether or not he wants to use it or not. And if he doesn't, it's not a big deal. I think my biggest thing is, is that I just don't, I'm, sometimes I'm too honest with people and sometimes it gets me in trouble, but yet I know that I'm at peace with speaking. And sometimes it comes off as kind of gruff. I guess it's just my personality. I don't know. I don't like to sugarcoat things. I like the truth. I want the truth. And I don't want anything else but the truth. And that went with Christ as well. And I wanted to know more of him. Even to this day, you know, and he's, 
he's been my everything. I mean, everything. And when you have somebody come on your channel and just like tell you you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you're mis... I don't remember the word I used. Contrast, con misconstruing or something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. You get kind of defensive because you know what's true in your heart. You know, you know that you are a child of God. You know that you are... Uh, saved by the blood you know that the blood is your answer for everything and yet the flesh fights the spirit of truth in you because it wants to be in control and the enemy comes in and starts messing with your mind And say you don't really know what you think you know. You can't even speak. You can't even articulate a phrase without forgetting a word or something. You know, um, that's who you are now. Well, truth be told, I think that's who I was. All the time. I was either too afraid to speak. Didn't feel worthy. To be. A child of God. Or. I felt. Like. I couldn't perform well enough for him and I was constantly looking for uh, what's the word reassurance re re validation I guess I don't know And it still happens to this day. Now, it's not only spiritual. It, it, it goes back to uh, my childhood and abuses. Um, uh, abusive relationships and stuff. So it kind of, it, it, it all, it's all jumbled into one big ball um, but I know that that's not my history that's not who I am today but every now and then I'll get some jackass and yes I'm calling you a jackass because you were one um, I don't care how nice you were tried to think you were um, get me to doubt my not my faith but just I don't know I don't I can't even put this into words I can't even speak what I'm trying to say And it's so frustrating. It's embarrassing too. But I, I was listening to David's uh, last video about uh, something about weakness I can't remember and I've listened to it several times now but I can't remember the name of it 
Um, and man, that was so comforting. The Lord just really, really comforted me the first time I heard it. And then I just listened to it over and over again. And I even listened to it today. And, you know, he said that uh, we, you know, look for validation in men when we don't need to. And I know where it's coming for me because I don't, uh, I don't, I don't trust my own understanding. I'm constantly thinking that I'm wrong. I'm... And I'm not... I'm not trying to... Say that I'm always right. You know? Um, I'm not. If anything, I, I... I second guess myself all the time. I've done that all my life. And a lot of it had to do with with the spiritual abuse that I was in for many years. Um, and so even after that, there's still some lingering indoctrination. And I think that's why I speak so much about it when I do. Or I shouldn't say much, but... Uh, when I do a video like this, uh, raw, it's because I'm speaking out of the pain that I know so many are still going through today and are miserable. And it does break my heart. And just the residual lingering indoctrination that I have even today is painful enough. And it gets reminded or it, it creeps up when People who think they have authority to bash you or to come across as better than you uh, it, it just like floods your memory with everything that had happened and that's the enemy I know I know I know 100% that that is the enemy but sometimes even when you run to the throne and you preach the gospel to yourself knowing who you are in Christ knowing your identity that pain doesn't always go away And then you start thinking, okay, <laughs> I know there's a reason for this. I know eventually it's going to be for my good and his glory. So uh, I guess that's my dad used to tell me. You know, I just have to suck it up and go through it. But it's not the kind of suck it up and go through it to where you are doing it in your own strength. No. You 
just enjoy Christ even through your weakness. And you know, that no matter what, no matter how many times you get attacked or um, made fun of or, you know, just feel like you're not even worthy to open up your mouth. <laughs> it God still loves you. He's not mad at you. And you're complete in him. And you can still enjoy him even through the heartache and the pain. And it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong. The Lord will still comfort you and teach you. And that gives me joy to think about knowing that no matter what state I'm in I can always run to the throne as a little as even a vulnerable little child and know that I don't have to shrink back and hide no matter how vulnerable, how ridiculous I sound. He accepts me for me, for who I am, because all he sees is the blood. All God sees is Christ in me. Who is my hope of glory? He is my satisfaction. He is my reward. He is my sanctification. He's the blood that's sprinkled on my conscience to wash away all the evil on it. And the water that quenches my thirst. <sighs> Even if I can't remember it all the time. <laughs> so sometimes even when you preach the gospel to yourself, it doesn't always come right off the bat. The, you know, the um, refreshing. Sometimes when you talk it through, like I'm doing now, and maybe that's why I'm doing this, I don't know, I guess. You know, I don't know why I'm doing this, honestly. I just know that the gospel is so simple. 
Christ is not a complication. He doesn't expect anything from us but faith. He's not an equation to figure out and think that you have accomplished everything in your own flesh. Or you figured out the formula. to a higher I don't know maybe I'm just rambling here but I sometimes feel like people put God's word in a I don't know if it's a box that I'm trying to think of excuse me Um, but it it's hard to explain like a check box you know um, a list on a piece of paper like, okay I got that now it's time to move on to the next thing okay I got that okay now I'm an elder you know, now I can claim to be this and claim to be that. Well, you look at majority of the freaking pastors out there in the in the institutional churches, they don't know jack. And yet they're leading all these people. And people are revering them as something. We're nothing without Christ as life. We can't do anything without Christ. We're not supposed to be getting up and moving around if you're dead. You're just dead. And yet his spirit is so much alive in us. Mm. He is just... I don't know how to... I'm just so grateful to have Christ in my life. For all of us who believe to have Christ in our life. And even though we look like, you know, right now, myself looking like a complete jackass to thousands of people, or however many subs I have, I don't even know how many subs I have, but I don't care. Um... I don't remember what I was saying now. I was talking about subs. What was I saying? Something about Jack, me being a jackass or something. I can't remember sometimes. Ugh. This is why I don't speak very often. I definitely don't feel comfortable. Seems like the only time I ever feel really comfortable is when I'm like fired up uh, over false teachings or something or and wanting to just share that that's not who he is. And it just burns inside of me and it just comes out. Even then, sometimes that comes out jumbled, but, you know, it is what it is. 
And that's kind of what I'm doing with this one, too. You know, it's been about 35 minutes I've been talking. <laughs> it's kind of rambling. Um, like I said, I'm nobody special. I, I don't have any skills. I have, you know, sometimes... I even doubt what gifts I've been given for him to use through me. And then other times it's like I don't care. I'm just gonna speak what's on my heart and let him do what he wills. And that's kind of how I feel today. And like I said, I, I don't speak well at all. And I know that. And I know it's because of my infirmities. And I've accepted that. I don't need people to agree or accept it. It doesn't matter. God made me who I am and gave me what I am. And that is just a simple child of God who believes in the gospel knowing that the blood is the only qualification that I have <laughs> to enter into his grace and approach the throne boldly <laughs> a lot of people in the institutional church have no, no idea what that was because I sure as hell didn't no clue. Anyway. Uh, but I know that it is well with my soul. And I know that I am accepted. Not only in the beloved, but by my brothers and sisters who go through the same things. All of us. <laughs> Maybe different, but we all have our vulnerability uh, areas that. Is kind of like our thorn in a side, like Paul, that keep us grounded in Him, relying on Him always. Just lately, I guess, just through some, uh, just a lot of comments that I, or not a lot, but a few comments that I have been coming across have just been very, um, just icky. Just makes me want to puke, whether it's flattery. going on your channel looking at who you're listening to and knowing exactly what you mean by that so-called encouragement knowing something different in your spirit I was like oh 
Okay. Bye, Felicia. Don't have time for that. I'm not very tolerant when it comes to that kind of crap. I can't. I can't be. Because it's too damaging to the body. And I'm going to say this. If anybody has an issue with anything. I've said this several times before to my normal subs. I mean, you know, you all know my history. You know my infirmities and everything. And you know I have scrambled eggs. Okay. And I appreciate your grace and understanding. Um, and putting up with me. But for those of you who don't know my channel and just want to come on and bitch at me for something I misquoted or something I said or anything like that. Um, find out what the channel is about and a little bit about their testimony before you start bashing them or putting your acting like an, an authority figure because the only authority figure I have is Christ himself I don't have to answer to anybody but sometimes I I do sometimes it is out of frustration response, you know, like, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, reactive response, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I can't think of a word I'm trying to specifically say, uh, this is freaking hard. Anyway, just don't come on my channel anymore. Because all you do is cause confusion. And thank God for brothers and sisters who backed me up with trying to understand um, and telling me that you know I was okay with what I said even though it didn't come it didn't it, let me put it this way the babe in Christ understood Okay, the one that I was talking to specifically understood. And yet, you couldn't. So, and then on top of that, my brothers and sisters understood. So, yeah, that kind of made me think about that. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I'm not. Uh, the one that needs to doubt what they're understanding. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just going to leave it. Anyway. Um. I don't know if I'm even going to upload this or not. This could just be for me. Just to vent. Share. 
I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying. Anyway. Uh, okay. Bye. How do I turn this off?